The Enhanced Map offers an alternative to the existing Bing-based maps in Power BI. It integrates D3 with the popular open source leaflet mapping framework uh, to offer a richer, more customizable experience. In addition, it also offers custom geography in the form of WKT or well-known text, uh, points, line strings, and polygons. And for this initial version, I selected uh, WKT over some more, or perhaps more popular formats like GeoJSON or TopoJSON uh, because of the easy ability to obtain SQL Server geography data in WKT format. Uh, this allows users who may have spatial data in SQL Server to more easily incorporate that data into Power BI. Uh, in addition, it is possible to import shapefiles into SQL Server via third-party solutions such as uh, shape to sql on CodePlex. So in effect, the enhanced map can therefore offer common shapefile data uh, in Power BI with SQL Server acting as an intermediary. Uh, in addition to the ability to incorporate this custom geography, uh, the enhanced map offers a selection of open source layers. Uh, so you have the default layer here, uh, but then there's also dark, light, uh, stamens toner, watercolor, and you know if you have custom tiles that you'd like to bring in, you'd also have that ability. Uh, one more thing that you can do is, is create a custom image overlay. And uh, you can see here uh, I have the Power BI logo, and it's simply taking the bounds of whatever uh, points that I've supplied for that image, and uh, it's overlaying that on my map. And then finally, if you just want to focus on uh, the data itself, you have the ability to drop the, uh, the tile layer altogether and just have your own custom uh, geography, uh, your points, your polygons, and, and your lines. Uh, you'll notice as well that I can turn each of those off individually uh, using the, the checkboxes here. And uh, you'll see that uh, uh, for the polygons, uh, it's a choropleth uh, map uh, where I have the shading uh, legend here that describes uh, what the values are uh, in terms of uh, the assignment to the different regions. And uh, these aren't labeled uh, very well for Michigan here, but I have A, B, C, and D that correspond to my polygons, and a certain value uh, from 1,000 up to 2,300 uh, for those regions. Uh, so this would be region A, and this would be region uh, D. Uh, so for the polygons, it actually acts as a fill for a choropleth map. And uh, for the points, you have an option uh, for either taking a, a set radius, uh, which allows you to uh, just present the points um, on the map, or I can flip over to uh, another map here where I have implemented a bubble option, uh, similar to the existing bubble map in Power BI. Uh, so you can see here that there are a few different uh, nice little tweaks that, that you can make to uh, the enhanced map to, to present the data how you might want and uh, just offer a, a little bit better visual uh, and make it a little bit more applicable to uh, different kinds of cartography.